save a little energy. And this is an example of how you can save energy. If you have an energy saving setting, you can use it and still wash a lot of dirty dishes. Some people say, oh, those are really dirty, so I'll put it on a long, long, uh, long wash. Well, even if it's a long wash, if it's not loaded right, you won't get a good wash. So, here's a few pointers. One, read the owner's manual. But, but here's a couple of things that people do that stop the efficiency of their unit. And if they have the cheapest dishwasher made and don't have the energy saving features, then they'll still get poor results from it if they have these problems. And if they have the good unit with the efficiency, they won't get the efficiency that they paid for if they don't do this. One of the things is loading the dishes right. Uh, for example, if I take this dish and put it right here and close the door, this is going to stop the spray of the water when this door is closed to all these utensils in here. And uh, one would say, okay, well I'll, I'll, I won't do that, but if you don't have this little thing here, you've got to load all these things this way and leave this whole row empty so that the water from here can spray to there. And even if you do have this, you're only going to get a very little bit if you have a dish right here to spraying these things clean. Another thing is if you put this here and your soap is here and the timer says it's time for soap batch B, this can't open because this is in the way. Well, it'll eventually wiggle loose and it might eventually open right by the time you're trying to rinse the damn dishes clean and then you're going to end up with all those spots that say, damn dishwasher. Well, it's the damn dishwasher loader, not the dishwasher. Uh, so you have to be careful where you put tall items. Not only that, um, if you have something like up here, you say, well, you know, I should just put this in there. You know, because I want to wash my little cup. Well, watch this handle and watch what happens when I put this thing here. This thing can't turn. Oh, well, I wouldn't do that. So, of course you wouldn't. You'd set it like this. But what if the spray, when this thing was spinning, shot this thing up and knocked it down? Now, all of a sudden, everything on the top is not getting the action spray that it needs. So you think your dishwasher needs to be run for a real long time and you waste all those efficiency options. Another thing is this handle here, you know, could go down in there as well. You would say, well, you know, it's sitting there. Well, this could move and it could go down from turbulence, knock, knock that down. Um, on a lot of these things, if you'll notice, this right here moves. Well, if you when you push this thing forward, or if after the spray sprays up there, it knocks these things over, what you're going to get, if it knocks over far enough, is you're going to get a horizontal glass with the, the soap scum and the soapy water staying in there. And if you choose the heat dry function, you then bake that soap, which is a, a kind of a salt. It's very caustic, actually. You ruin the wedding china. Uh, it'll bake it onto the glass. So you really have to pay attention so that it's being used as it was designed. Um, one of the things that, that I have found is if I put in the back, if I put them all in one direction, then that flow can, can sh spray out and then wash down. The only one that doesn't get the wash down from the, the last, the previous spray is the first one. So if it's not too far over, let's see if this one will do it. We'll put this spray over here. And here's how you can see if your dishwasher is going to work for you with how you load it to see how far that little spray nozzle goes. And if it's all the way over here, it's not going to get the backside wash. That will not get washed, except for drip down, as long as that is spinning. But drip down isn't what washes dishes, and splash isn't what washes dishes. It's those 
direct jets shooting at the dish. That's what it was intended to do. So you would start on the second row there. Uh, another thing is before you load it up, you can look down in here and you can see if there's food particles or broken glass or toothpicks or whatever uh, down in here that'll stop this thing from standing or stop it from pumping dry. Uh, gotta keep that clean. Some dishwashers have a little basket that you can lift out and clean. I've found a lot of customers never even knew the basket was there. Um, what else? Uh, this is the float and uh, inside is a switch and this has to be able to, to move. Some dishwashers have where if you have something sitting here and it's holding it down the machine will stop filling way sooner than it needs to because it'll it'll be forced to say that it's already full. Or if it holds down it'll just keep filling and won't shut off and then the thing will get so full that when you open the door water will come out or the gasket will leak out the because there's just too much water in there. Um, if you have a twirly on the top, this one does, uh, you have to make sure that you don't have something in there that's going to be moved from the spray of the water and flop a handle up there and stop that thing from spinning. And all of this is in the owner's manual. And the last thing I'll mention is, you know, here's a pair of chopsticks or anything like it. If they're sitting in here, like you might want to put them, and it looks all fine and dandy, if this thing, were, if the door closes, you can't see it. You know, you wonder if the, like, the refrigerator light's still on. Well, let me tell you, gravity still exists when you close this thing. And if this thing goes all the way down and you close the door, then this thing will try to spin right past it when that door is up and it'll catch it. So you have to be real careful with stuff like chopsticks or or the like, uh, like meat meat uh, prongs that can fall through there and stick out, and stop that thing from spinning. And uh, that's about all I have for dishwashers, I guess. Uh, if you've got any ideas or stories on dishwashers, use the comment box. Mm -hmm.